Hey guys, got a nice one today. So this is going to be a video for changing the steering wheel. Uh, so already I've replaced this one and I've made this video uh, before. Uh, I hadn't put it together yet um, and I thought now was going to be uh, a better video because I have found myself a performance steering wheel. Um, and I've replaced this one um, with just a performance line one so the only difference really is the uh, the carbon surround versus the chrome surround the previous owner had put an aftermarket one in um so i just replaced it with whatever i could find at the time which happened to be performance line um so yeah it's going to be replacing with the uh, the proper carbon now so uh, that'll be really nice which will match the uh the handles and also the uh, the center console as well so first of all you pop the bonnet and take the uh, the battery off um, so I've already done this one um, but this cap just lifts up um, and then you've got this flap here to uh, to pull the battery off um, and that's to uh, to stop the airbag from uh, from blowing up and then the only uh, tool you're going to need is a flat head screwdriver and you're going to want to uh, find this hole right here and so I'm going to show you how to take the airbag off so you get your flat head screwdriver and place it onto the hole in the steering wheel and you just have to move it around a little bit until you feel the resistance of the metal clip. Push the metal clip up and that bottom bit of the steering wheel will come loose. And then what I find the easiest way is to push on the left side first. You just push up like that so this side comes loose and you do the same thing the other side. There we go and that's come out. Um, so that was much easier than the previous time that I did this, um, but same concept, if you're struggling just push up one side and then push up the other. Uh, you can try them both together, I've seen that done and that works too, um, just whatever works for you. And then behind there you've got all your clips and connectors and that I'll show you a close up in a second. Once this is off, you can then see the connectors behind, so there's two connectors here, uh, one with the red clip and the second one there with the the blue and black cable there at the plugs into here. So just get your flathead screwdriver and take those off. The red one just pulls off, it's just a grounding wire. And then this one, you can get your flathead screwdriver, lift this clip up, both sides. And this is why it's important to take that battery off to begin with. Once that, that black clip at the top is out, it should be able to wriggle its way out like that and then you've got the airbag off. Once that airbag's off you'll see something along the lines of this. So this is the cable that we unplugged just now and this is the, um, the, the blue one as well. So what you've got to do now is undo this one. You know it's a little bit beefy so you're going to want a, um, a ratchet as well if it's never been off uh, before. Um, and I've locked the steering wheel in place so that I know exactly where to put it back on again. I'd recommend doing the same thing um, for yourselves. Um, there is an alignment anyway, so it's really difficult to mess up. Um, it's more of a just in case than anything else. So, little update. Um, there are two connectors, um, and because my new steering wheel came with one attached here, um, I've had to unplug this one. So this white uh, plug uh, went into this one here. Uh, so you just flick this tab down with your flathead screwdriver and they pop out. So this is actually a T50, let's see if that focus, yep, T50 hex. Um, you put that in there and undo it as you would normally. There we go, so that's the, uh, the rather large bolt out, um, and that's what holds the steering wheel on place. So all you need to do now, give it a little wiggle, pull on it, and there you go, that comes out. Make sure you thread those wires nice and neatly through there. Uh, don't pull on it, because you might break the, uh, the ends, and if you do damage this, it's an expensive fix, so I would not recommend. But for me, I will be replacing it with uh, this new steering wheel, so I'll just do the reverse of everything that I did before. Thread those wires back through here. Make sure none of those wires get trapped behind. Thread that steering wheel on. Make sure it all lines up with where it did before. And I'll just take this and show you here. Hopefully you can see. So you see at the top here, 
there's a little notch that sort of goes in place so that when you put the wheel back on again um, it's, it's going to be in the right place um, and your wheels won't be doing this whilst your wheel is straight so that's that's the nice little feature that they added do everything in reverse that you did before so I'll make sure this connector goes on like that that snaps into place then you get your airbag back this one goes onto the little connector at the side there and the blue one clips in same as it did before make sure you push that black uh, tab down as well obviously also just to note just make sure that you put that uh, that bolt back inside um, so you can hand tighten it for the most part um, and then at the end you want to make sure that it's um, it's nice and tight with the um, with the ratchet again and then make sure that all those wires are out of the way of the clips that are about to go in you don't want those getting trapped and then you just push so top one first bottom one second and there you go nice and complete and I'll just show you what this looks like so we've got the black carbon on the wheel now on the handles and the center console and I think it all ties in nicely I might remove that sticker but it makes me laugh so for now it's staying but yeah I'm really happy with how it looks now um, definitely pleased that I got this and it was a good price too so really really happy there we go today guys hopefully that was a nice quick easy video um, because I haven't seen too many where they've shown the airbag being taken off um, and sometimes it's a little bit fiddly um, like I said persist with it use a bit of force don't break the airbag and don't break the uh, the clocks behind it um, and you'll be fine <laughs> no pressure good luck and if you've got any questions let me know in the comments or send me a message um, and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer where I can